Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Head Chef Mom, and I'm Kendall Lawrence, and I'm happy that you're here with me today, and today I'm going to do a very special recipe. Um, I've talked to you about a cook that I like on YouTube named Tiffany Anderson before, and she had a wonderful recipe that really intrigued me, and it was called Chicken and Steak Casserole, and it's one of those easy to get on your, your um, you know, on the table quickly during the week if you do it exactly the way she did it. Now I'm doing a little bit of a variation on it. Um, and so anyway, let's get started. Let's, let's take a look at our ingredients. Here are our ingredients. Tiffany used um, some chicken. And so what I have here is some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I think I have three of them cut up and I have one steak that I cut up into um, thin strips. Um, she used a four cheese blend and I think um, uh, a Colby Jack. I used um, some extra sharp white cheddar and um, Colby Jack and I have some rice that I cooked earlier. Tiffany used um, instant rice and I used, I have a ton of rice so I use, always believe in using what I have. So this is some Uncle Ben's parboiled rice. Now if you want to get it on the table really fast then use the instant rice like Tiffany did. I've got uh, some salt and I have some garlic powder. Tiffany didn't use garlic powder, but I'm a garlic fiend. Um, I know I'm not a vampire. And I have some onions. And Tiffany used cans of cream of mushroom soup. And for some reason, my family does not like cream of mushroom soup and in the can. And so I always make my own. And so, is that you can you got a good shot of that? That's a good shot, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I have so um, some homemade cream of yeah. mushroom soup here. Um, and it's really easy, and I'll, I'll probably do a video on that. Let me know if you want to have a video on homemade cream of mushroom soup. And I didn't use as much onion as Tiffany because I have onion in my cream of mushroom soup. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've got my onions, my chicken, and my beef, and my wok. And I'm going to stir fry this for about four minutes, not too long. And after that, all we have to do is assemble. So this is one of those, really, get it on the, on the stove fast dinner, especially if you use the instant rice in the canned cream and mushroom soup. Okay, so we are pretty much finished. It's been about four minutes uh, getting our meat cooked up quick on high heat. And all we have to do now is assemble. Okay, so now all we have to do is combine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my um, cream of mushroom soup and add it to the rice. Looks like, looks like it's going to be good. And if you're not a mushroom person, then by all means use the canned cream of mushroom soup. Again, it's faster and um, you know it doesn't have the chunks of mushrooms. And I, I don't mind the canned cream of mushroom soup, but my kids won't eat it. Now you, you, you put everything into that same dish? Yes, for right now. So now I'm going to add uh, my cheese. And I'm going to hit it with some salt and pepper. That'll last about a month. <laughs> Not with Christian and Kyle. And I'm going to add my meat. And I'm just eyeballing everything. And it looked to me that that's like what Tiffany did, was she eyeballed it. I might be wrong, so. I gotta get those onions off. And then we're gonna combine everything. I don't know, not even sure this bowl is gonna be good enough. Let's see here. You know what? I'm gonna combine it right in the pan that I'm gonna cook it in. I think that'll be easier. Uh, that's what I was wondering whether you were gonna whether that was the final pan you were gonna use. Oh no, no, no. So I'm gonna get everything in here. I'm gonna hold back on some of that rice. Yeah, that was a lot. 
and I'm going to get it all mixed up. And I actually think it doesn't look as moist as what Tiffany's did, so I'm going to add some more cream and mushroom. I think I got me just enough of the soup too. I think that's going to be good. It looks like it's really good. I think that this is going to be a winner. And I'm just trying to get all the meat distributed evenly. And the cheese. And now I'm going to just kind of, let's see, let me get that corner over, these corners. I think that looks like it's spread out good enough. I don't think so. I think you. You think it looks moist enough? You think I should put more soup? Uh, I'll put a little, little bit, bit more. Left. Yeah, I'm going to put it in there. The rest of it. Yeah, it's kind of. Oven's going to dry some of that up, I'm sure. Yeah. So I actually use my whole pot of cream of mushroom soup. I'm glad you're listening to my advice. Oh, I don't do that normally. Sometimes you you, you think I can't cook. Well, you can't. <laughs> you can make a bologna sandwich. Well, it's cooking. <laughs> it had to be. It, it was cooked. <laughs> yeah, if you like your fries, if you like a fried bologna sandwich, you can definitely do that for somebody and open up a can of pork and beans. <laughs> All right, and then the last thing Tiffany did was she topped the remaining cheese that she had on the casserole. And then we're going to stick it in an oven, and I'm just going to stick it in at 350. I don't know if she said what the temperature was or not, um, but I'm going to stick it in at 350 for just a few minutes because everything is cooked. As Tiffany said, everything is cooked, and so we just want the cheese to melt. And so I'm going to go ahead and pop that in the oven for a few minutes, and then we'll come back and we'll, we'll taste. Okay, so it's been in the oven for about 15 minutes or just until it was golden brown and bubbly on top. And it looks really amazing to me. I can't wait to dig into it. And so let me plate it up and then we'll take a taste. So that's not something you let set for a while? I did. Okay. All right, so here it is. I'll plate it up and we're ready to taste. Give it a zoom shot, Frank. I did it. Okay, and I'm gonna hold it up to the camera as well. Well, let me let me unzoom it because okay. all right. Am I in a good shot there? There you go. I think it looks absolutely delicious. It looks great. It looks great. I'm ready to try it. Okay. Here's a fork for you. All right. And a fork for me, and let's dig in. Cheese. Yeah, I'm trying to get chicken and beef and rice. Gosh, I can't seem to get anything up. It tastes good. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Yeah, I cut the meat that I was getting trying to get. Anyway, it's gonna be hot. Mm. It's not too hot. Mm. But it tastes good. Mm. Delicious. I love the rice and the cheese and mm -hmm. the uh, the creaminess. The creaminess, yeah. Hmm. I could have eaten. I could have just eaten that. Put a little bit of salt on those tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Hmm. It's La tasty. Laris, I'm working on my plating, girl. That was good. Mm-hmm. Tiffany, you turned up on this one, chick. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what they say these days? I think, you know, I don't keep up with that. <laughs> anyway, my kids say when I cook something good, they say, Mom, that was fire. So that was fire, Tiffany. <clears throat> okay. Okay, guys. Thanks again for coming back for another episode. 
and I really hope that you give Tiffany's um, recipe for chicken and steak casserole a, try, a try. It's excellent. I'm definitely going to be making it again. I think I might even throw some spinach in there next time for a boost of um, nutrition and taste. Um, I'm going to put Tiffany's uh, a link to Tiffany's recipe for um, chicken uh, steak casserole. And so go check her out at Tiffany Anderson Cooking. I'll put the link down in the description box. And I, I hope that you'll come back and visit me again um, on Sunday. And please click like, comment, subscribe, please, um, and share. And go feed your family. Bye-bye.